Howdy kids, it's me, Bob Harris, Senior Editor of FootballDieHards.com. Time for our Championship Weekend Injury Review, Preview, Update, Overview, the thing we like to do each and every week. Uh, this week we only have Sunday games, so I'm doing it on Saturday. We don't have a lot of injuries. Uh, hopefully, uh, coming off a fantastic weekend of games last week, we can match that. We have the Bengals at the Kansas City Chiefs, and over under 56. Last time they played, they combined for like... 60 some points that would be great uh over of under in the late uh, afternoon game or early uh, the evening game of uh 46 i think 46 and a half should probably look and verify that yeah 46 and a half 54 and a half for the first game so hopefully some high scoring affairs we know the rams have had struggles with uh, the san francisco 49ers even in at los angeles they've lost i think uh six straight games to that team so that will make it interesting, right? So we're going to do the injury overview. There's not a lot of injuries, everybody. It's a pretty clean week. All the players we're interested in are in pretty good shape. For the Cincinnati Bengals, uh, Stanley Morgan is listed as doubtful wide receiver, more of a special teams player. Uh, Joe Burrow and T. Higgins were both on the injury report uh, this week, the opening week, but they practiced fully all week and had no injury designations. For the Chiefs, Daryl Williams listed as questionable. Uh, came back to practice early in the week, uh, then was limited Thursday and Friday. Uh, Jarek McKinnon has kind of emerged and really got uh, has outsnapped uh, every other back over the course of the playoffs. Check out my DFS three and out column for more on that on the website. <clears throat> but Williams, uh, Andy Reid suggested he would be in good shape and be ready to play. Uh, but will they need him? I don't know. It's, it'll be interesting. It seems like McKinnon has carved out a role. Darrell Williams has carved out a role. Maybe he regains it totally. Maybe Clyde edwards alaire all the way back from his shoulder. Last week was his first week back. Didn't get a hell of a lot of carries, but he uh, averaged eight yards per. So, uh, good play there. Uh, beyond those guys in the in the, for the Bengals uh, defensive end Cameron Sample also listed as doubtful. Josh Tupau, uh, uh, the defensive tackle, also listed as questionable in that game. Uh, for the Chiefs, Tyron Matthew uh, is also listed as questionable. Safety expected to play practice fully on Friday. Later, uh, the the uh, San Francisco at the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, the Rams win. That's two years in a row. We'll have the uh, a home team at home field advantage for a Super Bowl team after Tampa did it last year. Uh, Trent Williams, left tackle, listed as questionable. Sounds like he's going to be ready to go. Um, game time decision, but but trending in a good direction. Jeff Wilson Jr. hurt his ankle on the first play against Green Bay last week. It was ruled out immediately. He's gotten some limited work in this week, but seems dicey. Doesn't really have much of a role in the offense right now. Uh, but he did go from not practicing to limited to uh, um, on Friday. So, good sign. Elijah Mitchell started out his usual thing. They're managing his knee. Did not practice Wednesday. Limited Thursday. Full practice Friday. Uh, and he's good to go. No injury designation. No injury designation. Debo Samuel was never on the injury report. Uh, he banged his knee, if you saw last week, against Green Bay. Uh, no injury designation because he was never on the injury report. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, the shoulder has been removed, the right shoulder issue that he had. Uh, now it's just the thumb. He also practiced fully all week. No injury designation for the Rams. Uh, tackle Joseph Nobloom, who replaced uh, Andrew Whitworth last week, who is out, uh, is doubtful. But that's okay because Whitworth returns this week. Um, you know, it would be great to have Nobloom available, but... But doesn't seem, you know, will hurt the depth. But as long as the starters stay in the locked and upright position, it's good. Uh, Taylor Rapp, the safety, listed as questionable. Seems like he will play. Van Jefferson listed as questionable as well. Um, my guess is he will play. Did not practice Wednesday, then came back to limited work on Thursday and Friday. So there we have it. Good games, uh, both. Looking forward to another exciting weekend of football. And the injury is not much of an issue. So hit the website. Check the news and views section for all the late-breaking issues or anything of interest. Uh, we'll have the inactives in the 90 minutes leading up to each window's kickoff, each game's kickoff. So uh, we'll be here for all of it and uh, look forward to uh, carrying you through and good luck in your DFS games or your postseason tournament play. I'm Bob Harris, over and out.